Hey, if you're brand new to towing and are overwhelmed by terms and metrics and math and all the acronyms, then make sure you check out this handy free towing calculator that I put down in the description down here that might help you out. It's Kevin with Interstate Explorers and in today's video we're going to be talking about towing for the beginner. I started towing a travel trailer in 2021 and was overwhelmed with all the terms and all the math and the really only thing that I knew was the term towing capacity. Well, I've gone 25,000 miles of towing, I've gone through two tow vehicles and two travel trailers and a fifth wheel and at this point I feel confident with towing but I never really did a deep dive into the metrics. So I've done a deep dive and this is my beginner's guide. Make sure that you stick around for the end of this video as well because with our first tow vehicle and travel trailer we actually made two really big mistakes even though all the math checked out. Step one, find the specs of your trailer. This can be found on the door jam sticker, owner's manual, and or the manufacturer's website. I recommend the door jam sticker because that information will be the most accurate. Take a picture so you can reference it for later. Step two, find the specs of your tow vehicle. You're going to do this in the same way that you would your trailer, and once again, I'm going to recommend the door jam sticker. Actually, in fact, when I was looking at the manufacturer's website, the numbers are slightly different on the website than they are on my door jam sticker. Step 3. Know the terms and their meanings. There is a great website link below in the description that has an excellent visual for these terms as well. The first term is Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, which is GVWR, and this means the max total weight of the tow vehicle, passengers, and cargo. The next one is Gross Combined Weight Rating, GCWR, and this is the max total weight of the tow vehicle, passengers, cargo, and the trailer. Next one is gross trailer weight, which is GTW, which is the weight of just the trailer and its cargo. This is not a maximum number per se, but it's just a number that's going to inform us later. This number should not exceed the GVWR, which is the gross vehicle weight rating. The next term is tongue and hitch weight. This is the downward force exerted by the trailer onto the trailer hitch or the truck bed in a fifth wheel setup. This number can be influenced by where cargo is placed in the trailer as well. Our next term is going to be curb weight. And this is the weight of your vehicle or your trailer with all the essential fluids needed for operation. These fluids include gas, oil, and all the other fluids that you're going to need. Our next term is dry weight, which is also commonly referred to as unloaded vehicle weight, which is UVW. And this is the weight of your vehicle or trailer without any of the cargo or essential fluids. And the final term that we're going to talk about is payload, which is the maximum weight of all the cargo, passengers, and hitch weight that is inside of your tow vehicle that your tow vehicle can safely handle. And now we're going to put all these terms and numbers into action. And we're going to do this by using a sample with our calculator. So on the instructions here, it says to consult the following to find the towing metrics. You're going to, want to check your owner's manual, your door jam sticker, or your manufacturer's website. And this is going to be both for your tow vehicle and for your trailer. So what I've done is I've taken a picture of my door jam sticker, and this is for my tow vehicle right here. And then I've also taken a screenshot. This is for the fifth wheel that we're trying to tow, and this is from the manufacturer's website. After you have those two bits of information, you're going to want to input the data into this sheet where it says input down here. And you're going to do the same for the trailer in column C. And then we're going to click the results sheet, which is right here. And that's going to tell us if this tow vehicle can safely tow this trailer. So if we go to input, we're on the tow vehicle column right here and we're going to look for curb weight. So curb weight is on the pounds 8,318 pounds. I'm going to put that in there. 8,318 pounds. We're looking for max GVWR which is the gross vehicle weight rating and this is going to be right here 12,100 pounds. So we're going to put that in and then the next thing we're looking for is the max GC WR, which is the combined 
weight rating. This is going to be 29,700. So we'll go put that in. And now we have a couple different options. We have towing capacity with a conventional hitch, towing capacity with a fifth wheel, towing capacity with a gooseneck. So the conventional hitch is going to be 20,000 pounds, so we'll put that in there. The fifth wheel is not quite listed, but I do see a gooseneck. So the gooseneck is 21,200. And then I know from the manufacturer's website that the gooseneck and the fifth wheel are the same weight. So we'll put that same number in there. And then the final number we're looking for is our payload, which is right here, which is 3,782. Okay, all those items in the blue, you're gonna find from your manufacturer's website or from your sticker and the rest of it we have to do our best to estimate so this is going to be driver slash passenger weight so we're going to say two passengers let's say each weigh about 150 pounds so we're going to say 300 for that and that can be adjusted as many passengers as you have the next one is going to be the weight of any cargo that's in your tow vehicle. So we're just going to say 100 pounds, not too much stuff we're carrying. And then the last thing is going to be the weight of the hitch. And the hitch that's in the truck bed weighs 287 pounds. I know that because it said it on the box and also because I looked it up as well. Finally, you're going to, from the drop-down menu, select uh, conventional fifth wheel or gooseneck hitch. And for this particular trailer, we're using fifth wheel, so we're going to have that selected. Under trailer, we're looking for the dry weight or the UVW weight, and that's going to be right down here, 11,923 pounds, so we're going to put that. We're going to put our weight of our cargo. So this is going to be all the stuff that's in the trailer in addition to what came with it. So we're going to say, let's say, 1,000 pounds with all that stuff. Um, number of propane tanks. I've set this up where you just have to put your propane tank number. So we have two propane tanks. And then for gallons of water, assuming it's filled all the way, we're going to say 37 gallons of water. Okay, next one is the GVWR weight. It's going to be 14,995 pounds. And then the hitch weight is going to be 2,142 pounds. So those are going to be our numbers right there. And we're going to go to results now. So these are the trailer results. So our gross trailer weight is going to be 13,000 pounds, 306. And remember from this sheet right there, our maximum weight that we're going to not want to exceed is 14,995 pounds. And we have not exceeded that. So the available weight is we can still put safely 1,689 pounds still in this trailer and be okay. Our tow vehicle. Our tow vehicle is we still have 7,894 pounds left that we can still tow. The gross vehicle weight, this is going to be 9,005 pounds. And we still have 3,095 pounds available because remember from our sticker, max gross vehicle weight is going to be 12,100 pounds and we are not really near that. Um, we've still got 3,000 pounds left to go. Now, the final metric is going to be our combined, which is going to be our vehicle plus our trailer. And the total combined, the gross combined weight between the two of those is going to be 22,311 pounds. And we still have 7,389 pounds here to work with because remember the maximum weight, which we can find right here in the sticker, the GCWR, is 29,700 pounds. So we've still got plenty of weight there. And our final number is going to be payload because we have 953 pounds left of payload. And remember that the maximum payload that we have in this vehicle is 3,782 pounds. Now, the payload is going to be a combination of your driver and passenger weight. It's going to be a combined of your cargo and your hitch, but it's also going to include the tongue and the hitch weight because this trailer is going to exert 2,142 pounds of weight and we're going to add that to that, and that's what's going to get us our number of how much payload that we have left. So we have 953 pounds left of payload there. Now, before you go, I want to talk about our first tow vehicle and our first travel trailer and two very other important things that we uh, learned besides the towing metrics and the math. So we had purchased our Grand Design trailer in 2021, 
and we actually purchased it before owning a tow vehicle. When we purchased it, all the dealer told us was that we needed a tow vehicle that could tow 1,000 pounds over the dry weight of the trailer. So the dry weight of this particular trailer was 5,389 pounds, and so we just needed to find a vehicle that had towing capacity of 6,389 pounds. So we did, and we found an SUV that could do it, so we purchased that SUV because we didn't want a truck because the SUV um, was going to be a commuter vehicle, and we'd rather not commute with the truck. So while we were towing with this SUV, we experienced a lot of sway, and we did the math. We thought it all checked out. I actually did the math right here, but we were wondering what the deal was. If we go to results, you'll see everything checks out. We still have availability left, so this SUV should have no no problem towing this trailer. Except we learned about two other important metrics, and that's going to be wheelbase and suspension stiffness. So wheelbase is the measurement from the front axle to the rear axle. The longer the wheelbase, the less likely the weight of the trailer will push down the rear axle and lift up the front. Longer wheelbases also allow for greater control. Generally speaking, the first 110 inches of the wheelbase allow for a 20-foot trailer, and every 4 inches of wheelbase length, in addition to that 110, are going to equal 1 additional foot of trailer length. So therefore, a wheelbase that is 122 inches is going to allow for a 23-foot trailer. But our first tow vehicle had a wheelbase of 102 inches, which allows for safe towing of a trailer under 20 feet. And our trailer was 27 feet, so it didn't really quite work. Now, sometimes you can overcome wheelbase if you have a stiff suspension. Most trucks are going to have a stiff suspension, so if your truck isn't quite long enough in the wheelbase, it, sh it should be okay. But... We were driving an SUV, and this SUV was designed primarily for off-road driving, which means that it had a soft suspension, which allows for that type of driving. So with a soft suspension, you have little ability to counteract the push from a large trailer. So there we were. We were sitting there with a vehicle that could theoretically tow this, but the wheelbase was not long enough and the suspension was not stiff enough. So we were going all over the place on the road. If it was windy, we would sway a lot. If there was a truck that was coming near us, we would sway a lot. And therefore, this tow vehicle really didn't work and put us in a bunch of unsafe uh, conditions. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And this is my first attempt at a beginning beginner's guide for towing metrics as I deep dive into this thing. So I want to hear from you what your thoughts and what your comments are and what your feedback is. So make sure that you like and subscribe. And until next time, keep exploring.